Well, hello again. This is Radio Entrepreneurs, and I'm proud to say over a million guests, over six, I mean, excuse me, over a million people have heard the show, connected with the show, over 6,000 guests, and you know, uh, couldn't do it without the team. It's a great team. They do a lot of work, make my life easier, and, and I couldn't do it without the man to my right, the one, the only, Peter Myerson. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, thank you very much. It's always an honor to be on your show. Always, always, always. always. You liar. <laughs> even when you, even when you are a little uh, irrelevant, and <laughs> which is always, <laughs> which is always right. Uh, but it's a great show, and I enjoy coming on. You remember what Bill Newman called me? I don't. Right. He I said, do remember. He Bill said, Newman. If, "If you've ever worked with a consultant, that's not Jeff. He's an insultant." <laughs> <laughs> and our next guest is Keith Gillette, founder and CEO of the Gillette Fortune, no, of uh, Task Train. <laughs> Good morning. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure, Keith. I hope you don't mind that little joke. But uh, I would love to be the great, great, great grandson of King Camp Gillette, but uh, unfortunately, I'm not in uh, the Razor uh, Tycoon's you've, lineage. You've, you've, you've heard this before. Yes. Right? You yes. mean they didn't name the stadium after you? Well, uh, you know, the... Didn't didn't happen to that fortune. I, I didn't had, see I, you on the Ring of Honor. I had I had the nickname uh, Razor uh, from one of my uh, high school teachers. Uh, he, th I, I thought you know I think he thought I was pretty sharp, but that was uh, that's the extent of my actual association with the Razor you, you, fortune. That I like him already. <laughs> yeah, I assume it was a him. It was a him. Right. Yes. Women tend to be more polite than men <laughs> yes. on average. Uh, so, I was, that so was a compliment got, to women. Yeah, we've got dead time here. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, tell us about Task Train. Well, Task Train is my passion project. It's a uh, lightweight uh, process management software as a service application. We're just now coming into public beta. Uh, and uh, I think you can think of it in this way. So what uh, a program like Basecamp or Asana does for project management, that is, uh, it help plan and scaffold execution of the activities to uh, carry out a, a unique one-time project. We do for process management, so plan and scaffold execution of the ongoing business activities that allow your company to deliver value to your stakeholders. Is there any particular industry that is better for this? Well, uh, it's a it's a horizontal platform, so really covers all industries. any organization that has recurring processes is going to benefit from some kind of process management application. Our motto is process to the people, so we're looking to bring process management out of the enterprise. You don't have to have a dedicated uh, operations team or business uh, process analyst uh, or, or quality uh, department uh, and make it accessible to small and medium-sized businesses. So Is this all custom stuff or are you uh, you're starting from scratch or are you working with, let's say, existing software at times and then customizing it? And I want to try to get more detail into yes. this. Yes, no, this has uh, been a, a ground-up build of a brand new uh, SaaS application. So I've uh, transitioned from a, a career in IT operations management, uh, managing IT departments, to software development. And I've written a lot of the code myself, and I manage a, a small team uh, that have put the project Well, together. that's a story that's only happened a few thousand times uh, in yes. Massachusetts, hasn't it? Right. As a, as a, the startup state. So, you know, since you went into your past, and I'm beating Peter to the punch, let's get in the way back machine. Sure. Tell us about your career evolution that got you here and led you to entrepreneurship, because I think that's sort of interesting. Thanks, thanks. Yes, uh, this is uh, my, my first uh, entrepreneurial venture, but I've had the bug for a long time. My background is in uh, IT operations management. I came up uh, working a, as a system administrator, network administrator, uh, quickly moved into um, IT leadership and management in embedded roles as IT director, CIO, in uh, a couple of different educational institutions, uh, and uh, also uh, did consulting for a time as a virtual or fractional uh, interim chief information officer for a number of other organizations. And out of that experience, I found that uh, 
I, I was in situations where I would hire great techs. Uh, we would have standard operating procedures documenting uh, our internal operations, uh, and still we screwed up <laughs> way more than we should have because there is always this disconnect between uh, the knowing and the doing. Uh, and even though we had a ticketing system that tracked all of our service requests uh, and we had these standard operating procedures, they just they they too often were unread on the company intranet uh, and didn't make it into everyday workflow. So a few years ago, um, the, the sort of the crystallizing event for Task Train was listening to Atul uh, Gawande's uh, audiobook uh, of the Checklist Manifesto, uh, and he's a Harvard medical professor, and uh, talked about his experience introducing checklists into uh, healthcare, uh, trace their history for from uh, aviation and construction and his, uh, his work with the World Health Organization in bringing in the safe surgery checklist, the astounding metrics of success that they saw, 40% reduction in uh, deaths from um, uh, surgery uh, complications, 36% uh, decrease in major complications um, after surgery uh, sparked the idea in me that well, maybe the humble checklist is uh, a way to bridge that gap that I saw between uh, our internal operations and the uh, standard operating procedures that, uh, that we had developed. So I developed a prototype for, for Task Train uh, out of that idea, and, and based on my experience of the, this being the tool that I really wanted uh, when I was managing IT departments. So this is, in effect, a checklist of sorts. It's a super simple idea. Task Train is a checklist application. It allows you to uh, document your standard operating procedures in the form of a multi-level checklist, so uh, not just a flat list, but you can, you can model complicated procedures uh, down to the level of, of granularity that you need, and then it integrates them into everyday workflow uh, by allowing you to turn these procedures into actionable assignments. So each step can contain embedded training, um, a link to a video or uh, a PDF uh, or a document that explains how to perform each step, uh, and then each step can be assigned to someone so on your so team. So how much does this have to be customized on, in, in general from company to company? Well, it's... 20%, it, 30%? It's, it's a platform, so right. the, the application is... Uh, completely customizable to your internal operations. Right. Every company operates a little bit differently. We're not imposing a process on anyone. We're allowing you to take the processes that you have, For a monthly standardize fee. them. Right. Yes, exactly. There is a well, free we're sitting version, inside of, of a SaaS company. Uh -huh. so. <laughs> we, we do have a free version that lets you get started. Uh, but yes, it is a mon monthly subscription, multiple tiers. Right, which makes it a lot easier and allows you to update it. Exactly. As, you need exactly. to, as you need to update it. So you're in beta right now? That's correct. So we're, we're uh, public beta. The uh, application is out there and uh, uh, functioning. We are just right now finishing up our, uh, our Zapier integration, which will allow us to uh, connect to more than 1,500 uh, other uh, software as a service applications out there. So you can integrate Task Train into your CRM or into uh, your, 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 your internal workflow in a variety of ways. So, so how do you how do you function in terms of making the sales? Have you started the sales process yet? We are just getting started on the sales process, and this this exposure is is part of that. So uh, we've we've gotten a few organic signups from um, uh, previous publicity that we worked out there, but we're we're right now uh, getting the word out about Task Train and beginning our our direct sales process as well. Well. Um it's a time flies when we're on the show. Uh, if somebody's looking for you at Task Train, how would they do that? Well, you can find us at tasktrain.app, A-P-P, uh, and you can reach me, Keith, at tasktrain.app. Uh, thanks for being on the show today. C continued success, and as you continue to progress and have success, we hope you come back on. I would love to. Thanks Great. so much. Great. Remind everybody, this is Radio Entrepreneurs.